Hello, everybody. As you all know, evil has struck again. This time, a piece of filth decided to murder too many people at a high school in Florida. Um, this We all agree, this has been happening way too much recently. Um, I, it's, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if ma these mass murders have been happening recently, or if we just know more about it because we have the 24-7 media, we just know more about these mass killings. Um, and unfortunately, again, it, it involved a, a, it was a mass shooting. Um, but there have been like two or three things come out of this. Naturally, the, there are politicians who say, oh, we should ban blah, 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 stuff like that. And, but you also have the conservative side saying, oh, it's because of all these violent video games and blah, 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 blah. This violent media causing our young kids to blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to talk about this subject with you all right now. Yes, and before you all think about it, yes, this is loaded. I have it here for props, but I will. I am going to handle this completely safely. Nothing's gonna come. Nothing's gonna come from me using this as a prop. Um. First off, banning these won't get rid of the problem. The only way this will get banning these things will get rid of the problem is if you are it is if a humanistic world philosophy is reality. In a humanistic reality, in a humanistic sort of Freudian reality, um, people are perfectly innocent. And it's the evil society or evil objects around them that turn them from the innocent human beings that they are into evil, vile creatures that would murder high schoolers. But that just simply isn't the case. People are inherently bad. It's part. If you study anthropology, you will know. You will understand that people are just born evil. It's what's inside of us. It's the sin nature we inherited all the way from our forefather Adam, and we're not going to get rid of it until um, millennial reign, or we're all we all have our glorified bodies with Jesus, all that stuff. But until then, we're just naturally evil. These don't cause us to be evil. It's what's within our hearts. Which moves on to the next point. The violent video game stuff. Most of you know, I own, obviously this one, I own this handgun. I have a, a shotgun. At the, when I was the age of this piece of trash that decided to murder people, I had an AR. I built an AR. I loved it. I, sh you know, shot it. The only thing I, uh, granted, the only thing with these I've shot is, in, meaning my shotgun, my AR, whatever. The only things I shot are like TVs, milk jugs, shaving cream cans, cardboard. I've never used these against people, and that would be strange because I play violent video games. I love Medal of Honor's, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, the. Halo, I'm trying to play through the Halos. Um, I love all, all of these military-style video games. And I've, I always have. I've always loved those video games. But you're never going to see me use this to harm or threaten or intimidate anybody. The only time I will use, the, I will use these lethal objects is to protect whether it's protecting my life or try potentially just protecting myself or protecting people I care about that are around me, these will only be used to protect. I refuse to allow video games to program me to use these against people when the life of innocence aren't in danger. I can go into a long discussion about video games, whatever, but like it's not video games do not program unless you're playing Grand Theft Autos. It's just, we need to stop this video game crap, okay? I'm reminded of the words of Jesus that he said in Matthew and Mark about, it's not what goes into the man that defiles him, it's what comes out of his heart that defiles the man. So it's not, these, we, uh, we Christians and conservatives buy into the humanistic philosophy of, 
oh, the, this media stuff is what corrupts the heart. No, it's what comes out of the heart that corrupts. This, this piece of trash had to feel some kind of filth. He was a piece of filth, so he will feel, feel filth. But there was some level, at least some level of hatred in his heart that he had towards people. And it just built up to the point where he decided just to murder probably his, at one time his fellow students. It wasn't because of video games. I don't know whether or not he played the video games. He, it, it, it had nothing to do with the genre of music he listened to. It was because of the hatred that was it in his heart so long and allowed it to boil to the point where he murdered people. It had nothing to do with the media. It had nothing to do with the object. It had to do with the evil and the hatred that was in his heart that just came out. So we need to stop this video game sewage. It's not, no, that's not what's causing this problem. I can, I can go, I can go on and on, but we all agree that these mass murders happen way too often. And we can sit here and debate about the objects all we want, but the problem is within the heart. It's a, it's a moral issue more so than it is an object issue, or a control issue. And the only way we can combat that is by... Program, is by... Trying to get the right words. is try, The only way we can combat that is by spreading the truth of the Bible and the gospel to others and raising our raising the next generation to live the right kind of lives, to have the right kind of programming in them. We need to raise our children to understand that these are only for protection, never for intimidation, never for unnecessary aggression, never for wrongful revenge these are only used for protection and unless we spread truth evil will prevail and we will have these kind of murder murders over and over again so the answer doesn't doesn't revolve around the object the answer revolves around the morals of the people and the morals that we spread so i want to encourage you all don't spread don't spread misinformation. Don't spread around lies. Don't spew hatred all over the place. But instead, spread the love of Jesus. Spread the truth of the gospel. Live the gospel in your life. And we need to help everybody live moral lives so that these kind of murderings will, will stop. And I'll remind you all to, to walk a Christian walk and carry a loaded Glock. Bing.